So from an awareness standpoint, let's first talk about why salt use is so important when we talk about the environment. Hi, I'm Phil Sexton with WIT Advisors. And really what it boils down to is salt is a pollutant that we're allowed to apply somewhat unregulated. So the, the Environmental Protection Agency does designate sodium chloride and other salts used in winter management as a pollutant. It, it also does allow us to use it. However, as an industry, we're not really an industry that measures. We're not really an industry that's regulated by a standard application rate. And so therefore, we're somewhat allowed to put it down freely um, without being regulated. Furthermore though, what's happened in the last at least decade now is there's been many consistent studies that have come out that have shown a dramatic rise in chloride contamination of fresh water. Because that's happening, it's important for us as an industry to now understand how we reduce our use without necessarily sacrificing safety or level of service. So I think it's just important to keep in mind that from an environmental perspective, um, Chloride contamination is on the rise, and because of that, that rise in both uh, accumulated uh, pollution in fresh water and the rise of um, awareness of this, it's, it's important for us as an industry to start to understand strategies of how we reduce our use. So I think the bottom line is that research is showing that just to sort of dispel the argument about where this salt's really coming from, What's happened is for many years, it's always been perceived that most of the salt use is coming from the roads. It's coming from the road crews, it's coming from the DOTs. The research has now actually been very conclusive to say, well, hold on a minute. Most of this pollution nowadays is actually coming from parking lots, private parking lots and private road systems. So that, that's where the, the target of opportunity, but also the target is on our back as an industry in order to start solving this. So I think to, to start to try to answer the question, why would this be a no-brainer, you know, changing the way we do things and, and incorporating liquids into the process? So let's think about it in terms of environmental benefits, economic benefits, and quality of service. When you think about it from an environmental perspective, there's really just one major benefit, which is less salt means less pollution, which means better for the environment, better for our drinking water, better for freshwater uh, resources in general. If the environment's just not enough, I can understand that, and so then let's move on to the economic benefits. 